the universe is always communicating with you. Um, not only in the form of other human beings or in messages that come to you like this, that just say like, hey, wake up. Um, we all kind of act as messengers for the universe. Uh, I like to think that uh, even the people that we pass on the street have some kind of caramel entanglement with us. Karmic? Caramel? Did I say caramel? Some kind of karmic entanglement. And maybe caramel too. But what I'm saying is that um, I think there's a lesson to be found in every moment and in every interaction you have with people. Um, and and in not just in the interactions with people, but in interactions with the moment itself, with the experience of life. There is always uh, an endless amount of knowledge to be mined away at. You know, life is in fact a mountain of experience. These are some more spiritual or metaphysical ways to tell if the universe is communicating with you. And the first one is, is if you find yourself falling into repetitive habits or patterns. Do you find yourself constantly having to deal with the same shit like you have, you're in a bad relationship and you guys are just constantly falling into this or just being confronted with um, the same kind of situations? Uh, this is the universe telling you to examine this situation from a different perspective. Or it's telling you that, well, this is going to keep happening until you learn some kind of lesson. And we all know that from our own experience in life is that we've all, we've all seen that we fall into habits and patterns until we finally get the lesson. You know, even as deep as addiction, people say like, I, I, I had to want to quit. You know, uh, I tried everything, but really what it came down to is that I had to want to quit. That's what people that have had previous addiction issues have said. So I think one way we can tell the universe is trying to communicate with us is that we examine our lives, see what we are doing and see what patterns keep um, finding themselves being presented to us and what we can do to, um, or what we can learn from these patterns or what they're trying to say. How long have you dragged down a bad relationship before you realize like, look, I deserve, I deserve better than this. I deserve better than this. It teaches you being confronted with those moments over and over again, reconnects you and, and, and puts you in contact with a part of yourself where you're like, where you build a friendship with yourself to the point where you're like, it's time to go. I got the message. I got the lesson. Uh, I got to graduate now. I got to get, I got to go to the next level and see what, what's waiting for me out there in the world. And I feel like, yeah, I just feel like we're confronted with these moments all the time. And um, it actually brings us to the next one. And that's synchronicities. Synchronicities start to happen when you start paying attention to these patterns. When you start paying attention to the things that are reoccurring in your life. And you start working with them differently. Stop being so reactive to them. But start observing them. Start start playing around with the situation from a new place because a lot of the times we're so reactive that we can't even acknowledge that it's happening because it's just it just appears to be our lives synchronicities shamanic cultures there are some shamanic cultures that believe synchronicities mean that you are on the right path and that when you find yourself being presented with um, reoccurring numbers reoccurring messages or uh, ideas that means that you are, um, you're being called to, to pay attention, basically, is what they're saying. And I like that idea. I like the idea that the universe speaks to us through synchronicity. And I've had some crazy synchronicities, particularly with, uh, with, um, Ram Dass and the Ram Dass Neem Kareli Baba satsang. There's a lot of synchronicities and, and crazy things happen in that group of people. And the fact that I've somehow managed to hang out with Ramdas and be at his house and a lot of you won't even understand won't understand because you don't you know you're not me and but that is such a crazy synchron synchronicity that somehow my life has led up to 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 that just moments where finally the dots connect all the dots just start making sense and you can see how all these things that you were doing in the past that seemed chaotic and seemed like bad, ha like the bad habits that we're talking about. It seems 
chaotic and like it's never going to change and it seems pointless and it's just like why is the universe putting me through this shit for no reason and then a couple years later you're staring at the moon and it's all of a sudden it just clicks and you're like wow that was just leading me here it was leading me here it's guiding me here it was all guiding me to this moment and who knows what moment will trigger that for you but i feel like we've all had those kind of sparks of enlightenment happen to us randomly throughout life who can say why they happen but it seems to happen to all of us and it just seems synchronistic it's like when everything finally meets when all the lines finally meet and it's just like and another way that the universe talks to us is through sacred geometry i don't fully understand i don't think anyone fully understands what this means but reoccurring patterns are found scattered throughout nature including the patterns that make up our bodies. Like this pattern, for example, the sacred spiral that makes up our ear, it makes up our jaw, um, it makes up the whole dimensions of our face. Our whole bodies fall into this sacred spiral. Fibonacci sequence is what they call it. Um, the universe is communicating with us through symbols. And, well, it's not communicate. We are those symbols. And um, that's, how it, that's how it grows. It grows and experiences through these symbols. And um, sacred geometry is, is, is really interesting because it proves that the universe is doing something and that it's not chaotic. Because if it was chaotic, chaos means there's no... There's no patterns. You don't find patterns in chaos. So the fact that there are patterns happening implies the universe is doing something mysterious and doing something interesting and doing something measurable. And the fact that human beings can wake up and be like, holy shit, I have ten fingers. I have two arms, two legs, my face. And, all of... and then we start breaking down the math of our bodies and realizing that it's found in everything. So, we are nature, we are the universe, yet we have woken up, and we are seeing some kind of encoded language to our own reality, to our own situation. The universe has woken up through us and is now examining itself through mathematics. It all comes back to patterns. It all comes back to patterns. All these things are patterns. The universe speaks to us through patterns. And I would imagine these synchronicities and and um, and uh, thought patterns that we fall into also follow some kind of sacred geometric pattern who can say for sure um, but that this is how the universe appears to work it seems think about um, I always forget what it's called but when you put that when you put sand on top of a big table that produces tones and frequencies and every time you change the frequency the sand will will morph into a different geometric shape that's what the universe is the universe is a vibration they say it was created from the big bang the big bang exploded this vibration into reality and like the vibration that this that these little machines create that create the shapes this is the sacred shape that the big bang create created was all this so um yeah this is three ways i think you can tell the universe is communicating with you in a way that you can kind of tune in and, and a way to kind of extract information from the uh the astral world uh, so yeah i don't know i hope you guys like this video my name is dakota i have all kinds of videos like this on youtube and um I have a clothing company if you'd like to support this channel and buy a t-shirt for yourself. It's called Stay Happy, Stay Weird, and you can use code A Place for Humans, and you'll get 10% off, and there's free shipping right now in the United States. So, uh, yeah. Click subscribe and follow me on Instagram, at Dakota Wint. Love you guys. Peace out, guys. I'll see you next time. Om.